on this episode of Ugly Tent Mocha Pot. You face the haversack to, towards you, face it towards you. So believe it or not, this is the same trail I was on the other day with the first ice storm. Our second ice storm hit. It's very destructive, but very beautiful. So one of the comments from the first video I did with the ice storm was talking about this rub. And I said, I'm not sure if it's a rub or if it's actually um, just some kids back here playing because there's a lot of kids come back here and play. But you can see now the tree is broken in half along with all the others. The ice storm, the second ice storm was seemed to be more deadly because the first ice had not melted down and, and it just kept continuing to build. And anyway, we lost power. Our neighborhood lost power. Some people in this area have been without, without power for going on two weeks. So it's been pretty rough. We are in the hills of Kentucky, so it doesn't bother us as bad as it does others because we're used to it. You know, we're used to, um, we're tough, we're resilient. Of course, my family survived because we know how. We're prepared, uh, we know what to do in these situations. So for us, it was just a drill. Um, we were ready for it. And hope you are too. Hope if something happens, you are too. So it's currently 12 degrees. It's colder today than it was last time. But if you look around, what do you notice? This is what I like to come out here. I like to come out here and check things out. Well, what do you notice? Of course, the holly trees, have, or the bushes, holly bushes, have survived. Very, very resilient. Animals don't like them because of all their pricklies. But... Uh, might be a cool little place over there for shelter. There's more holly over here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's invasive. Oh, look at that. The sun is coming through all that crystal. This looks like a good spot. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. See, this is, this reminds me of being a kid and finding, finding forts. Uh, yeah. We brought the haversack again. This time we're switching it up with the, uh, hold on, I'm, I'm getting cold. Woo. Put my hood on. That's better. We're going to use a Thermarest Z seat. Keep our bum nice and toasty. And, of course, we got our Esbit stove. Our Kuxa, our Mocha Pot, our Super Sparrow insulated um, water container, and this time we're going to try with the Mocha Pot. I'm going to take a K cup, and this is pumpkin spice, one of my favorites. It's got like a cinnamon, a uh, hint of cinnamon to it. I'm going to take this coffee, put it in the mug pot, and use it. And then I'm going to show you a quick haversack hack. That's probably why you tuned in. So, if you're, if you're this far, I appreciate you watching. Uh, most people probably fast-forwarded to the um, hack already to see how to 
turn your haversack into a backpack. But if not, I'll show you in a little bit. Well, let's get started. Preparation is everything. That's a lot better than instant, yeah. So I've got nothing new to report other than the ice storm and the cold and no power. But I still like to get out. It's Sunday. I wanted to get out here and have a little time to myself and to reflect and talk to God and just chill out. Just something about the cooks that just Mm. Ah, that's good stuff. My first cup of coffee of the day. A little left. It's pretty strong. Mm. Good stuff. And the rest of that's cowboy coffee. Let me show you what I got. Let's see. I get it. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful cup of coffee. Okay, before I go back home. Where I pack up and go back home, I promised you I'd show you how to turn your haversack into a backpack. I'm gonna have to take my poncho off to show you this. You can wear it with a poncho, but you just have to do all kinds of adjusting. But anyway, this is taking a haversack and turning it into a backpack. This is what I promised I'd show you. Now, this is an ancient technique, this is not something new. It's new to me. I've never seen it before until the other night, but I want to share it with you. What I'm going to do is extend the strap out a little further so it'll lay down flatter. All right. So, now what you do is you face the haversack to you. Our gloves back on. You face the haversack to, towards you, face it towards you. 
and put it around your midsection under your arms. Flip it over. And there you go. If you're really a big guy, this may not work. You'll have to get a larger strap. Because I'm a little guy and it's tight. But it works. It's something to think about. And maybe it's a mod you can make. Maybe it's something you can do with your your haversec. I thought that was pretty neat. So thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. I love doing this. I almost forgot. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.